How can a person have the taqwa as much as he should have? As much as is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who can fulfill the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And they were perturbed. So when they came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then you know the ayah in Surah Al-Tagabul was revealed. And on that you know the, the sahaba, then they were satisfied. They were set to, to rest, you know. And when that, that ayah is, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ مَسْتَطَعْتُمْ Have taqwa of Allah as much as you can. So one can go and, and try as much as he is in, is in capacity. But here you know the wordings are the most strong, strongest wordings. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُوتُ اللَّهِ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُ مُسْلِمُونَ And so see to it that you don't die except as Muslims. And what is a Muslim? Muslim is a person who has submitted himself. Who is obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does it mean? If you decide I won't die but as a Muslim. What does it mean? You will never commit any sin. Because sin actually, what is sin? You are breaking the law of Allah. And maybe that the cruel hands of death pounce upon you at that very moment. If that comes to you at that very moment, you are not dying the death of, a, of, a, of an obedient person. You have taken liquor. You, are, you have committed haram. And at that very moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts death to you. What will happen? Is your death the death of a Muslim? No, this is the death of a sinner. This is the death who is breaking Allah's law. Who is in revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who has challenged the divine law. So actually this is most profound ayah. And what does it show? If you want to discharge your duties as Muslim ummah, you must be yourself. First of all, you must be practicing Muslim yourself. You must be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yourself. You must be following the injunction of the Sharia yourself. You must have the maximum taqwa of Allah in your heart yourself. If you don't fulfill these conditions and you start people calling people to the deen of Allah, well, you are actually, you are putting the cart before the horse. You must put the horse before the cart, not the cart before the horse. And that is, First of all, you have taqwa yourself. Individuals should be prepared first. Individual characters should be built first. And then actually, then if you want to build a very strong wall, a very strong rampart, what do you do? The bricks must be strong. The, uh, every brick should be very strong. And then you join together. And the mortar, the cement substance should also be very strong. But first of all, the bricks must be strong. So actually this ummah is composed of bricks. Every Muslim is a brick of this ummah. So this brick should be strong and their strength and that is of taqwa and practicing Islam. So this is number one, item number one of the agenda of the Muslim. Ya ayyuhal ladheen amanu taqu Allah haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Wa atasimu bi hablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. Now the second level. Now join these bricks together. And you hold fast to the rope of Allah, to the cable of Allah, to the cord of Allah. All of you together, wala tafarraku, and don't be disunited. Now these bricks should be joined together, and the cement substance, cementing substance should be very strong, so that the wall is strong, the rampart is strong. Maskuru ni'matallahi alaykum, and just remember that the call, Allah's blessing upon you, is kuntum adan. When you were enemies to each other, Allah united your hearts, and you became, due to His blessings, due to His grace, you became brothers. And you were at the very brink of a pit of fire. You are going to fall in that pit of fire, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved you from that. كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَحْتَدُونَ In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes his ayat clear for you so that you are guided, so, you, so that you can get the guidance. 